Hey friends, Jay Span here. I've got a great offer for you guys today. I want to teach you, show you how to find the best prospects with the deepest pockets dying to pay you for your marketing services in your local market. Now let me tell you why this is important. Let me start off with a quote actually from Gary Halbert. Gary Halbert, the late great copywriter, uh, one of the best marketers of our time, he was given a seminar down in the Florida Keys. And he asked his students at that seminar, if you were going to start a hamburger joint, a hamburger stand, and you could have any competitive advantage that you wanted, what would it be? And he had some students that say, you know, the best fresh baked bread. Um, he had another student that said he wanted like co imported Colby beef to make the patties out of. And even another student said that they wanted this, uh, you know, crazy active atmosphere that kind of drew people in. And, you know, Gary told his students, he's like, you know, you guys can have all of that. I'll take a hungry market. And why is this important? Well, let me tell you about how I stumbled upon this. Um, this is not something that I come up with or was originated. Uh, it was actually taught to me. I started selling print services, uh, print advertising, ad space basically, um, for a corporation that owned newspapers uh, back in 2006. And when I started, I didn't get any kind of sales training whatsoever. Um, they just handed me a previous book of business, about 660 prospects in my territory that had bought from us previously. It just basically threw me to the wolves. Um, I had an activity sheet that I had to keep track of, so I started cold calling, door knocking, and I, I never could bust my quota. My quota was $32,000 in revenue a month, and that fluctuated from month to month. It was based on, I believe, 8% over what the territory had did the previous year for the same month. Um, anyway, so I was having trouble coming anywhere close to that $30,000 quota. I was right around the $10,000 uh, $10, a month, and I just couldn't hit past that ceiling. And the lady I shared, uh, not really a cubicle with, but the lady that sat right behind me, uh, she kind of reminded me of Mimi off the Drew Carey show. Um, she didn't look like a clown like Mimi did, but she just had, you know, this big crazy hair and didn't wear a too much makeup, but it was heavier than, than normal. Anyway, uh, let's call her Mimi. Mimi didn't seem to work at all. She always spent her time at the water cooler or getting coffee or, you know, doing the office gossip. Yet she always blew past her quota. She was getting like 80000 a month, a hundred k a month. And her quota was right around like 50, 60, 70 K, depending on what she was doing the previous year. And one day I just kind of spun around and wheeled up to her desk and was like, what am I doing wrong? You know, I'm cold calling 200 people a day. Um, I'm going to go in door to door. You know, I'm working two, three extra hours a day trying to get in front of these business owners and you're hardly ever on the phone, you hardly ever leave the office, and you're doing 10 times what I am. Uh, what's your secret? So she pulled out this pad of paper. Um, we had these pads of paper that were glued together that was actually a company letterhead uh, that they let us use for scratch paper because somebody had screwed up the fax number. Yeah, we, we actually still use faxes back in 06. They probably still do. But anyway, so she pulled out this scratch paper and then she said, well, let's wheel back over to your desk because um, we kept our prospects on this uh, pivot table in Excel. So she had me pull that up. And so she pulled out my mouse, my keyboard, and she started doing some things. And she sorted my, my database by the people at the top that had spent the most money the most recently with the biggest budgets at the top and sorted them from a, the biggest at the top all the way down. And she took my 660 prospects 
and she hid the last 640 cells. So I was left with 20 people at the top, only 20 people. And she said, if you focus only on these 20 people, these are the only 20 prospects that you have. And you have to close these 20 prospects. She's like, I guarantee you by the end of the next month, you will have hit your quota or doubled it. And I shit you not, within 50 or 51 days, I went from like 10K a month to 60K. I had blew past my quota. Blew past my quota. Well, it was during October, um, October to the end of November, which is like during Black Friday, which was one of our biggest times uh, for advertisers, but still blew past my quota. And that's what I want to share with you guys in this product. Um, how to find these hungry, hungry crowds in your market. I'm going to show you how to go through um, the yellow pages and tell, you know, who's spending what and what their budget is based on the ads that they put in the yellow pages and how to look at some of those ads and know just by looking at those ads if they know anything about marketing or not. Uh, for example, like a third page ad in our market. So if you look at a full page, you know, a third page ad, either a banner ad across the top or narrowed down the, uh, along the side is $700. For a full page ad, it's $2,500. And now those, those are prices per month. So if you know that, going to look at the at a yellow book, you can basically tell what they're paying per month, you know, for a whole year's time. And another important thing is recency. And how do you tell how what the recency is for a prospect? Um, you can use things like the newspaper. I'm going to show you how to read a newspaper and tell what they're paying per column inch and also if they know anything about marketing based on that. Uh, we're also going to look at some other things, uh, some accounting stuff. Um, CTO, total contribution to overhead and why that's important. And that's basically say if a chiropractor gets um, $100 to adjust somebody's back you know, he only gets to keep about $20 of that. And I'm going to show you why that's important and how to figure that out for some different markets. Uh, margins are really important because uh, you look at the restaurants, for example. A lot of people like restaurants, and even one of my good friends, she's making six figures a year marketing strictly to restaurants. But I don't like restaurants so much because the room to grow is just not there. Because according to the Restaurant Association, most restaurants only get two to four percent margins tops so if you go into a restaurant and you spend 20 bucks they're only getting like four bucks of that you know that's not good you have to bring a ton of customers to a restaurant to make your marketing pay off so i'm going to look at some other markets and teach you and show you which markets are the best um, let's take another one for example contractors contractors only have about a 10 percent margin or CTO or contribution to their overhead. But you got to think how much is it to build a house? You know, $100,000 or $400,000 are up in some markets. So even though their margins are only 10%, still adding a lot of money to their bottom line. You don't have to bring a contractor very many new prospects or very many new clients to make, you know, what you're asking for $10,000 a month to pay off. Um, what else am I going to show you guys? Uh, basically, we're going to have an open form in here. You know, it's going to be video delivered just like this. Um, we'll probably have the same shirt on, the same setup. And, you know, it's just me and you sitting here and me telling you and laying everything on the table that I know that uh, I used to take, you know, selling local businesses for me from 10K to 60K plus. Uh, it's going to be an open forum. There's going to be a chat box at the bottom. You know, you type in any questions that I forgot to cover, and I'll shoot you another video or type in the box before. Or we can touch base on Skype maybe um, or email or whatever. You know, this is an open forum. You know, I'm here to help you guys. Uh, what else? Man, that's... 
that's there's so much going to be included. And, you know, if I forget anything in this video, I'll throw some bullet points underneath it. Um, oh, we're going to have a 47-day, no questions asked return, uh, return policy guaranteed. So this is guaranteed. Um, you know, no questions asked. There's nothing returned for any reason. I didn't fulfill my promise. You didn't feel like you got your money's worth. Uh, just contact, support, request your money back, and we'll send it back. There's nothing to return. You know, I'm not going to kick you out of anything. You can still watch the video as many times. Um, if I didn't give you what I promised, then I don't want to keep your money. You know, that's, that's not me. Um, I want you to be completely happy and completely ecstatic. So here's what I want you guys to do next. Scroll down just a little bit to the buy button. Purchase this at the super low price that it's at. And I'll see you guys on the other side. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to you know drop the questions in here. Uh, contact me. I'm going to have some contact information below. So go, go buy this right now. I'll see you guys on the other side. Thanks.